a retired couple forced to hand over their £600,000 house to neighbours had turned down £750 for a broken fence before launching a ruinous eight-year legal battle. A judge's ruling gives the Constantines less than three weeks to quit their home of 31 years in East London after they lost a bitter dispute over an extension they claimed was built three inches into their garden. Southwest News Service Herman Constantine says his family has nowhere to go after the legal battle yesterday we told how ex-council worker Evate, 57, and Herman, 66, were ordered to hand over the keys to the seventh house to the Alley family so they can sell it to cover their mammoth legal costs. The Constantines, who have lived there since 1986, accused the Alice of knocking down a fence and building an extension three inches into their garden while they were on a cruise in the Caribbean in 2009. Today Vet said the Alice offered them £750 in compensation for the fence but they turned it down after an expert told them they should get at least £2,500. It was after the Alice allegedly refused to pay the higher sum that the Constantines launched a claim for trespass. The Constantines' house, left, next to the Alley family's home, right, in East Ham. East London in 2009 the Constantines accused the Alis of knocking down a fence and building an extension into their garden while they were away Yvette told the son they were meant to pay us £750 initially but that was for material they had removed from the fencing that was just compensation for that that was not for trespassing the land she said the couple had brought in an expert to examine the garden, adding in the report the expert said the minimum we should accept is £2,500. But they refused to pay us. After the initial 2009 complaint a civil court case began in 2012 which ended with a judge ruling the extension was not trespass. Yvette and Herman lost an appeal in May this year and were ordered to pay the Alley family's costs. A judge issued a final ruling on December 1st due to non-payment. The Constantines and the Alis have been embroiled in an eight-year legal battle over a three-inch extension the order gives Sad Our Ali, 62, his wife Halliman and son Tajamal, 36, the right to sell their house in East Ham, East London, for at least £500,000. It states £132,544 from the sale will pay the Alice legal fees. The remainder will be given to the Constantines. Herman and Yvette must leave by January 5th and have already begun to pack up their belongings into boxes but say they have nowhere else to go. Yvette said we were told they have to sell our house. Can you imagine that? We tried to appeal but they didn't give us permission to appeal despite our overwhelming efforts. It's been the most stressful point of our lives. Southwest News Service Herman Constantine, 66, and his family have just three weeks to leave the house. They have lived in for 31 years it means Herman and Yvette, 57, will be homeless just two weeks after Christmas Herman, 66 added I don't have any kind of money now, everything is in my house. It's giving me a headache and I don't want my blood pressure to go up. Who wants to live here? My house is in a bad area, a bad spot now. It's really, really painful. Yvette said the families got along before the spat, adding we were not good friends but we were polite and civilized. They are not really someone I would have a conversation with apart from hello and goodbye. We came back from holiday and saw the structure on our land. Some Southwest News Service The Alice have installed CCTV cameras on their home since spat began eight years ago. Some Southwest News Service a sign on the door of the home at the Constantines asks delivery drivers not to leave parcels with neighbors from Southwest News Service. The view from the rear of the Constantines garden shows the extensions. In the Alice Gardens from Southwest News Service the three-inch overlap which has caused the legal dispute between the Constantines and the Alice event said they initially did nothing about the extension because they couldn't afford a solicitor. She said the family were still paying the mortgage on the house and will struggle to find funds for another place. Neighbor, 
Mr. Ali, 62, said I don't want to talk about it. The time to talk about it was 8 years ago but not now. Since the spat began, both families have installed CCTV cameras on their houses. But a hint of the 8 year spat might be found on the Constantine's front porch, where a faded note reads please do not leave, deliveries with any neighbors. Thank you. Sun Southwest News Service Sadar Ali, pictured, had been locked in a legal battle with his neighbors since 2012 Sun Southwest News Service there. Constantines accused the Alice of building an extension three inches into their garden while they were away on holiday in 2009 Sun Southwest News Service The Constantines accused the Alice of trespassing by knocking down their fence and building an extension a woman who lives next door to the Ali family said they are good neighbors who take around food occasionally a neighbor on the other side of the road who also did not give his name said I didn't know anything was going on there I don't know them but I didn't realize that was happening young widow 26 barred from daughter's nativity as she had baby son with her man with world's second largest penis accuses title holder of cheating Prince Harry and Meghan Markle release love it up Christmas pictures man and bus driver injured after shots fired in Southport town center man with world's largest penis is registered disabled due to 19 inch member warning over Aldi Coop and Morrison's chicken laced with metal splinters dare just normal neighbors Mark Walloshak, of lawyers Slater and Gordon, said border disputes can be horrendously expensive. If you lose you pay the other side's costs. That's how it works. We pay for your stories do you have a story for the sun online? News team? Email us at tips at the sun .co .uk or call 0207 782 4368. We pay for videos too. Click here to upload your